Pride and Pride Month can mean many different things to different people in the LGBTQ plus community. And like most things, Pride Month is obviously not perfect. There are many good things about Pride Month and many things that could and probably should be improved. So today I have the wonderful Stephanie Lynette back on my channel to talk about the best things that we came up with about Pride Month. And then you can head over to her channel where we talk about some of the worst things. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for taking the time to come on my channel again. You're very welcome. I am delighted to be here. I love coming here. It's it's great, we have a great time, it's a safe space, so yeah, thank you for having me again. I'm so glad that we got to do another collaboration. I hope you, all you lovely subscribers of Chloe are happy to see me again. <laughs> I feel like I take up a lot of space on your channel. <laughs> and since you are the esteemed guest of today's video, I'll let you kick it off with our first point. Why, thank you so much, esteemed host. I do appreciate it. So the first thing that we wanted to talk about, that I wanted to talk about, the first best thing about Pride Month, I think has to be the fact that it is a month of celebration of identity. It's a month where, as a community, we band together to celebrate who we are, the struggles that we've overcome, and the people who we want to be and create those voices that we want to see in the world for other people to then see. Um, it's a time where we stick our middle fingers up in the air to all of the legislation and laws against us as people and elevate ourselves as a community and our experiences to a mainstream level where we are taking up space, where we are not being silenced and just being the best rainbow people we can be. So yeah, the first point has to be the fact that it is a celebration of identity, of who we are, and an unapologetic way to be like, this is us, these are our rainbows, we're not going anywhere, kindly get used to it. <laughs> Absolutely, Get used to it. Yeah, I, th I love all of that you said. I don't know if I have a whole lot to add. I mean, it's you know, it's great that we can have a time where we can, a lot of us, you know, not all of us, can feel more open, more comfortable about just celebrating who we are, our genders, our sexualities, whatever it may be. Um, and I think it's also important to remember, like, all the people that can't come out yet, all the for whatever reason, they feel they can't, they don't want to, they're not at a place where it's safe or comfortable to. Um, but I think... You know, Pride Month serves as a time where the people who can be out and visible are able to celebrate their identities, and that can serve as a form of hope and encouragement for those that are still in the closet. And obviously, as I've said on my channel before, regardless of where you are in your journey, you are valid and loved for being you. We love you. You're welcome. You're welcome here. You're welcome in our community. You're welcome to celebrate pride, whether you're out or not, whether you're proud or not, whether you are visible or not. We love you and we are so glad that you are here with us celebrating the best things of Pride Month. I love everything that you said, Stephanie. In the interest of time, we're going to go on to our second point, uh, best things about Pride Month community coming together so there's like a celebration of identities like we talked about and then there's a celebration as a community you know all the different identities coming together for pride or you know even just like as a trans woman being able to find other trans women and have community with other trans women other trans people um just being able to meet new people who have shared identities or under you know the broader lgbtq plus umbrella and, you know, realizing that so many of us are all celebrating the same things, fighting for the same things, wanting, you know, equality and equity and wanting to be just treated and seen as people. And I think one of the things Pride Month can do is like really emphasize that communal aspect and how we can also make change when we come together as a community. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with everything you've said. I mean, the best thing about Pride Month is the sense of community, which in a lot of aspects of modern life has been lost. So it's lovely to have that opportunity to like 
celebrate your community, celebrate where you're from and, and all of those. I mean, all of those really great things, you know, all of those comforting things, finding your people, finding your tribe is like everything that Pride is about. So I completely agree. I completely agree. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have anything else to add. <laughs> <laughs> it was just that brilliant. It was just that brilliant. Chloe's just a genius. So, moving on into the next point, because I had nothing to add there because I am useless. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> one of the best things that we've kind of touched on in the video on my channel, um, but in a very different light, is having a month and a month of opportunity to celebrate our history as queer people, as a community, you know, and not just the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall riots that happened last year in 2020, not just Marsha P. Johnson, not just these, you know, these these huge voices, these these massively prevalent people within our community, but also throughout history the people who changed history for queer people, the people who changed history for the approach of all of those things, the legalization of being homosexual in first world countries and, and things like that. And so having a month dedicated to celebrating that and celebrating our history and celebrating the people who came before is absolutely one of the best things about Pride Month. Absolutely, hands down, one of the best things, the ability to celebrate where we come from as well as look forward to where we're going so yeah definitely that absolutely yeah i think it's incredibly important to know like why do we have pride month why do we have pride festivals why do we have pride parades why do we have all these things i mean you know it's important to take time not just during this month but especially during this month um to learn our history if you're not aware of you know, the Gay Liberation Front being formed after the Stonewall Riots, and, you know, just really reflecting on Pride as a protest. You know, that's where it started, you know, pushing back against all these oppressive policies against LGBTQ plus people, especially, you know, queer and trans women of color, ones who led a lot of these initiatives during, throughout you know, a lot of this progress that has been made, at least in the United States, over the past 50 or so years since the Stonewall Riots. To remember the people who have laid the foundation to help us, those of us who can be out, those of us who can live our truths to the fullest, you know, that's, that's a huge privilege that many people before us have laid the foundation to make that possible. And I think it's important to take time to you know, learn about that, reflect on that, respect that, and kind of think about, like, how can we keep building on this work that the people before us started? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you said it all, but yeah, just just that month to celebrate who we are, where we came from, pay homage to those people, not just to look forward, but also to look backward, to learn the lessons. So yeah, I, I mean, yeah. And I don't have, there's no air conditioning in England. The only fans I have are on YouTube. That was awful and I love it. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Sorry, sorry. Our fourth point of the video, something we touched on another light on Stephanie's Worst of Pride Month video. There's increased visibility during Pride Month, and that creates opportunities for increased positive media coverage of all sorts of aspects relevant to our communities. And some of that touches into that third point of, you know, more visibility to history, the progress we've made, a chance to educate both people in the community and allies or potential allies of the community. Um, and it's just a chance where you know, we can have more stories of just people coming out and finding their communities and being loved and just being able to exist in the world as themselves. And, you know, it creates so many opportunities for us to emphasize the positive instead of 
often gravitating towards the negative or the sob stories or the sorrow and the pain, which is very much a part of many of our journeys. But it's important to remember we are fully rounded people. And, you know, there are many beautiful things that come out of being able to be ourselves. And Pride Month can help reflect that. It's just, you know, as kind of queer people, as trans people, we see so much kind of negative press attention year round. And then it's so nice in Pride, you know, there is negative and the negative is heightened. But there is so much more positive press and all of the all of the negative things, you know, like like rainbow washing and things like that, like although they are bad things, they do promote more attention towards the community, which therefore promotes more positive attention and things like that as well. And so I think during the month of Pride it's just so nice to see authentic queer stories reflected in mainstream media at such a higher percentage than it is the rest of the year. So and so the kind of not the last point because there are so many great things about Pride Month so many great things um but the kind of best thing that we wanted to end on was the creation of opportunities for people within the queer community Pride Month is the month of the year where the cis community stops and pays attention and because of that Queer people benefit so much more in the month of Pride in terms of media opportunities, in terms of news coverage, in terms of representation, in terms of all of those things. And so the fact that having a month dedicated to the celebration of our history, who we are and our identities, and our ability to share that with the world creates more opportunities which then feed back into the community. So it's just this like, cyclical nature of these additional windows of opportunities opening up for people within the community which I mean <laughs> is always a good thing it's always 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 a good thing but especially during pride month when people are taking note of our voices where people are listening to the things that we say where people are taking action when we're fighting for certain things and rights and privileges that we aren't afforded. It's the month of the year where people pay attention and it's so lovely to see us gain additional opportunities from celebrating ourselves to a point where people can do nothing but pay attention. I think one of the big things I've seen this year and past years is like you know, Pride Month creates these opportunities to see and connect with other people that are like you. Even before you come out, you can see like, oh, this positive visibility, like we've talk talked about, like, I could see other people that have gone through some of the same things as me, identifying ways that I identify or identifying ways that I want to identify. And it can create that opportunity to connect and then gain that comfort to come out. You know, as Stephanie is touching on, there's so many things that cisgender, heterosexual people can take for granted um, just existing and doing day-to-day -day things that I think Pride Month can offer opportunities. You know, we talked about, you know, like corporate pride and co-opting of pride, but we do see a lot more places, you know, displaying publicly pride flags, trans flags, whatever it may be. Um, and that creates a welcoming message. And obviously we have to see if, you know, the messages they're conveying match their actions. But, you know, it can create opportunities for people in the community to feel more comfortable just existing, going to places, whether it's like going to a grocery store, or going shopping, or, you know, going to a restaurant, a bar, a club, whatever it may be. Um, there's just more opportunities to simply exist in the world and feel like there are places that welcome us. Yeah, it's just, it's the month of celebration, it's the month of history, it's the month of opportunity, and it is just something that one day we will look back on and think, oh my god, we needed a month to be gay or openly queer or, you know, but it is... Something that brings a lot of comfort, I think, to a lot of people, a month when people who aren't out, like we said before, have the opportunity to find their people, find their tribe. Um, and yeah, it's just, I mean, it's a, 
at the end of the day pride is pride is love it's it's self-love it's love for your community it's love for your loved ones it's loved for your partners you know it, pride is love it's about love it's about loving yourself enough to have pride in who you are loving the people around you to have pride in celebrating them and so it is just I mean you can't go wrong with love can you you can't go wrong with being proud you can't go wrong with loving who you are with loving your people so yeah I mean it's just it's the best <laughs> love is the best <laughs> loving yourself for who you are and finding people that will do the same you know the people who don't place conditions on their love for you they love you because of who you are because of every aspect of you of who you are not it's like i'll only love you if xyz and it's like no i love you because you are you and i think pride month can really solidify those foundations in our different networks of social support and just you know I mean, we've mentioned it before, but to those people who aren't out yet, don't let not being out stop you from enjoying seeing other people's public pride, because pride is a very personal thing. You don't have to yell your own pride in yourself on YouTube in a collaboration video, but don't let being closeted or not being ready to do those things for whatever reasons because everyone has different reasons for doing them don't let it invalidate your experience and don't let it stop you from enjoying seeing the month of pride for what it is which is a beautiful protest of love and pride and who you are absolutely that's such an important point because you know, I can imagine for a lot of people who aren't out, can't be out for whatever reason it is, it's valid. But, you know, for people who can't be out, and I know I have viewers who are not out or are out to very few people at this point, um, it, can br it can probably bring up a lot of mixed feelings around Pride Month, just seeing so many people who are able to be out as themselves and... You know, there may be a sense of pride for them, but also a sense of, there can be a sense of just feeling left out or feeling like you're missing an opportunity or feeling maybe a pressure, like I need to come out, you know, rem remind yourself to do things at your own pace, do things that feel right for you, find the ways, find the people that allow you to be yourself on your own terms and on your own schedule. And you know, just like Stephanie said, pride is a very personal thing for a lot of people. So, you know, even if you can't <laughs> scream it from the rooftops or whatever, you know, find the ways that you can affirm yourself, even if it's completely in private or even if it's just with your pets, you know, pets love us unconditionally. They don't they don't care what our identities are. They just care about food. So, you know, if you've never worn nail polish in public, do that and your cat will love it and it will be amazing. And it's just like, those things may seem small, but it can feel so good to be affirmed, even if it's just by yourself. The entire month of pride that we know is the direct result of a single brick that was thrown all those years ago. So even one step in your own pride, in your own sense of identity, will lead you on to bigger things. So even if you do one thing in private or public that makes you feel even the tiniest bit proud it will snowball and you will get to a point where you'll look back and think oh wow that was the first thing i did so don't don't yeah. dismiss the little things because we wouldn't be here without the little things every step forward counts no matter how big or small and we got some big wow. feet so our steps are i mean they're huge <laughs> yeah, you, you could say that. Um, any, any any other closing thoughts, Stephanie? No, I think I've done my share of like Hallmark greeting card pride quotes for at least the next year until next Pride Month. Love is love. All cheesiness aside, we love you. You all are valid, regardless of how you identify in all the identities you hold, all the beautiful parts that make you, you. Remember that on this Pride Month and beyond Pride Month. Don't forget it when July 1st rolls around. And as always, thank you so much for watching. 
Tipsy and I love you all and hope you're staying safe and sound. If you have not done so already, of course, give this a huge thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And then head over to Stephanie's channel, watch the worst things that we've discussed about Pride Month, and also give that a like and a subscribe and hit her notification bell. I love you all. Bye for now.